Because you never know who's going to jump in the back of a tuk-tuk and get chatty out here in the wilds of Southeast Asia. And my tuk-tuk, my tuk-tuk is a sanctuary. You can say anything here. It's inviolate. I don't know where I am other than the fact that I'm halfway to Phnom Penh. Yeah! Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you tonight. Um, yes, look for me on YouTube, subscribe, all that kind of rubbish. And um, yeah, my name is Dr. Bruno Stars, S-T-A-R-R-S. So whenever you think of Bruno Mars, think, ah, that sounds just like the guy we met in Phnom Penh. Let's go, let's go and have a look at his YouTube video. <laughs> so, who's here in Chit Chit in a Tuk Tuk tonight? Me! It's Lisa. Hi I'm... Lisa, where are you from? I'm from uh, Ukraine. Oh, uh, well welcome to Cambodia. Thank you, I like Cambodia. Yes, I'm Christoph from Austria and I love the fabulous nightlife here in Cambodia as well as the easiness of living. Yeah, I but think... I think uh, the, these people must change uh, government. Ooh, we're not going to talk about government tonight. <laughs> okay, okay. Because it is just such a touchy subject. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm a guest in Cambodia, so are you. Yeah, I'm Sky, right? Tuk Tuk driver at the city of Lumben. But Cambodia is very unique, very lovely place, really, really friendly, happy people. What do you want to do when you get older for a job? I want to be a teacher. You want to be a teacher? Yes. That's great. Yes, of course. Uh, it's a <laughs> it's fairy tale country. A what? Fairy tale. Fairy tale country. Yes. Cambodia is a fairy tale country. Yes. I might get it's... that printed on a T-shirt. <laughs> do you think that maybe your ancestors? helped to build Angkor Wat? Yes. Then this is your inheritance. My inheritance is more 21st century than 9th, being a desire to travel and video record the world. For I am Cambodia's friend, the relatively rich foreigner. Ah, uh, but I'm also her enemy. Behind me is the river that runs through Angkor Wat. River Moat. I'm an enemy foreigner because I not only want to see it all, I want to take it all. When you're a strategist in warfare, a river is not just a passage of water. It's a defense against your enemies. Many Cambodians today are poverty-stricken, living a hand-to-mouth existence. And then there are those maimed by landmines left over from the Khmer Rouge era in the 1970s who would give anything for a hand-to-mouth existence. Fortunately, high-definition video permits me to keep it, but not take it.
Temple Bakong, 9th century. Angkor Wat, 12th, 13th century. This place is ancient. <laughs> Spirits. Spirits from a 9th century shrine. Some also see me as an enemy because I drive a tuk-tuk. It's their industry, not mine. Cambodia's greatest industry, however, is its culture, and that culture attracts the tourist dollar. So whether you be enemy, friend, or both, you will be welcome in Cambodia. But you must protect your tourist dollars. It is with great disappointment that I announce the demise of chit chat in a tuk tuk. Last night, my wallet was stolen. 20 years of traveling and teaching in Southeast Asia, the first time I've let my guard down and snap, it's gone. My cards, my cash, my everything, except my tuk tuk. So today, my tuk tuk is on sale and chit chat in a tuk tuk will be resumed in Australia as Chit chat in a solar tuk tuk. <laughs>